Hi there, AJ Design Studio, Andrew Jackson here. Um, another SolidWorks tutorial. This time, um, one way to model a, a like a scoop, like a bonnet scoop or a peel peel surface, like where one surface runs tangentially into another surface, uh, and then had a sort of uh, a couple of different options of of how to how to create the uh, sliver surface on the sides. So on one side here I've created, created a flat surface and then uh, blends in afterwards. On the other side I've created a, um, a single blended surface that carries on through. So I've modelled this already, um, so it's probably easiest just to roll back to the beginning and explain a few things. My sketch is on. So I've just created a um, a control sketch to control the general overall dimensions, and then created some planes um, on each side and at the rear. So for my, um, I'm going to create a panel, and to do that I've created a centre line sketch. I've used the conic for this, but uh, you can use a style spline or an arc or whatever. Just depends on what you're doing. And then, so I'm, instead of mirroring this over, I'm going to model the whole, the full width, the full span, uh, just so I don't have to have any uh, have any tangency issues down the centre line. Okay, and now I've added the uh, the side profile. Again, that's a um, a conic. And then I've converted entities on the plane on the far side to create the other, instead of mirroring it, I just converted entities. Okay. Then I created a front profile, which is just a uh, three point arc and coincident to the uh, end point on the center line. And then created the rear, which again is a three point arc coincident to the centre line. Then I created a boundary surface through those five curves. So in direction one we've got the side, the mirrored curve, the centre line and the side curve and then in the other direction we've just got front and rear. And I haven't got any uh, tangent conditions on on any of these, they're just free boundaries. Okay, so let's have a look at um, that with the zebra stripes. Now I've got a custom zebra stripes, uh, like if you look at the um, default zebra stripes that comes with SolidWorks, even on high quality, um, it's obviously a, must be a low res bitmap or something because you end up with this rather indistinct blur on the sides of the stripes, which isn't helpful. So if you um, go from file, I've created basically a, a file, which is a uh, series of stripes just in Photoshop, sort of highish res so you don't get too much edge blur. Um, and that's kind of much more, much more useful for reading the form. Okay, curvature doesn't tell us much. So, moving on, so once you've created a panel surface, panel can be whatever, it doesn't have to look like this, this, this is fairly small scale, so it's obviously not an auto part, um, so it's just a, a um, side of a consumer electronic device. Okay, so now I'm going to create a sketch which I'll use to trim out the area where the scoop or the peeled surface is going. So for this, I've got an arc on each side, which is symmetric, and I've um, created an arc down the bottom for the distance, um, and a width. This is all just sort of arbitrary stuff, you can do whatever you want. Um, this has just been created for demonstration. 
Okay, so now I'm going to go insert surface trim using that sketch and keep the outside. Once we've done that, I want to define the scoop centre line. So if you look where our original surface line, centre line sorry, was for the panel, it's there. And so for the scoop, I have created a, let's have a look at it, it's a style spline, curve degree 3, that gives us four points, two end points and two uh, CVs in the middle. And I have created an intersection curve between the centre plane and my panel surface. And then I have made the uh, style spline and the intersection curve equal curvature. And then I have dimensioned um, the first two CVs. So this end is just floating. If I wanted to control the tangent direction on this end, I'd have to add one more CV in and make that a degree 4 curve. But um, for this demonstration, this is all good. Okay, now I'm going to define the scoop edge. Um, so I don't want the scoop coming down and meeting this edge because we need to have a blend between. So what I've done is I've created a an arc, it's controlled with an angle at one end and two dimensions. So that's what our surface in the middle, that's a, uh, the side boundary from the plan view. I'm going to extrude that. A, a distance to uh, to clear any other construction. I'm going to extend the ends of that. So I've extended this so it intersects with our um, panel surface. And I'm going to add a 3D sketch which has fallen over. This is great. So that 3D sketch is tools, sketch tools, intersection curve. And down the other end I have a point that is coincident with I want to find the junction between our end profile and that surface so that just create a point and you make because it's a 3D sketch you've got the on surface constraint and a coincident with the, the curve and now I have created the side elevation of what we want um, again, so I use that point there, 3D sketch, because I want a dimension from, from an intersection. And at this end, uh, look what it's done. Okay, I'm just going to reconstruct this. So that's our intersection curve, which we had here. So I'll move this back. Let's just pick the wrong end. Okay, so. I'm going to select that, convert entities, we're going to get that, and we're going to make a construction geometry. Um, SolidWorks, if you if you have dimensions on your CVs and then you go and try and make this curve it to continuous. Mm, don't let me. Merging these first. Equal curvature, it will throw in another CV, see? Which is not much use. So, what I'm going to do is undo that, we'll delete the dimension. Now, if you make these equal curvature, it won't throw in an extra CV. So, I'm just going to dimension this um, 30. Okay, so that is going to be the outside boundary for the, the peeled or scoop surface. Okay, now I'm just going to use that curve to trim my extrude. I could project, you could project these two curves onto each other, but um, just for more robust mirroring, because I'm going to again create this in one piece, it's much easier and more robust to mirror a body to, uh, rather than mirroring a curve. So I've just mirrored with the right plane, I've just mirrored the surface trim because we're going to use these top edges. 
of our show our mirror. There it is, and I've got the center line for the scoop. And now all I have to do is create a profile for the scoop end, which is I've made this out as a degree two style spline because that way if I drop this down here and that might invert, uh, say you wanted to play around with things. If that was an arc, it will, will not flip and it will fail and you would have to go in and redefine the arc. So if it's a um, degree two spline and you've got equal equal length constraints on the control polygons, it's an arc, so that can flip. Much more useful. Okay, and then insert a boundary surface. The boundary surface is using the two edges and our centre line. Scoop end, sketch at one end, and at the other end is just um, using selection manager. I've just picked the edges and then pulled the end point back in and snapped them to the to the um, to the edges. In direction one. Okay, then I've knitted that together. So if I hide the construction, turn the curves off, and we'll go and have a look. So turn on our zebra stripes. I mean that looks okay as far as the um, the continuity between the two surfaces. Curvature is fairly average in SOLIDWORKS, you can't control it, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, okay, so now on to the two side surfaces. On one side, all I've done is create a boundary surface with two boundaries. I haven't bothered specifying the end here. Um, sometimes it's fine, sometimes you don't need to do that. So I'll if, if this didn't work and it didn't end up tangential down here, I'd go back in and define a control sketch down this end and use the edge down here for a direction two. As it stands, I just created a um, boundary surface using two edges, curvature to face, um, tangent length of one, you can play around with that. There we go. Um, turn the zebras on, have a look. You can see that's just picking up down here. You can see it's starting to curve as the surface runs up. So it doesn't offer you much control, but that's the that's the um, the S bend kind of way of doing it. All right, on the other side, I've done the same thing. It's it, um, so I've just selected the two edges and have not specified a uh, tangent condition for either of them. Push OK, all good. Now I'm going to knit this together. Now to finish this off over here with blends, if you try and run a radius along here, the radius will run down to nothing because these surfaces, the angle between them runs down to tangential down here, which means you end up with a rather nasty result. So if you want an equal width blend, the best way to do it is you can create a couple of swept surfaces using these edges. So basically you just, instead of having a sketch profile, sweep to the profile, pick the edge, and then you can specify um, a diameter for the for the tube. So I've done that twice. I'll just show those. Then I have extended those at each end for the reason that they, before, because they end normal to the, normal to the curve, to the path, on this end it intersects the surface, on this end I want this edge to come through here and intersect this face, and same here. So we just extend those through. Now I'm going to create two sets of split lines. So this split line, using that sweep and intersecting it with this, the boundary surface and with our scoop surface. Which leaves us with, as you can see, and now I'm going to do the same here, except with this one, it doesn't terminate on this face because it's an open cylinder. So I'm only going to intersect it with this surface. And then I'm going to create a 3D sketch. 
Then you go into this 3D sketch. What I've done is created a, an intersection of two faces, intersection curve. So the intersection curve is between this surface and our tube. And then I'm going to use that within a sketch on the top plane. Go into that sketch. So I've converted entities, our intersection curve, from the previous 3D sketch. And then I have converted entities to the end of the surface here. So this, this here. So if I go normal to that plane, you can see I've converted entities here. I'll, I'll go through it with you. So converted entities, I'm going to drag that out. And then we're going to go trim corner. Okay. So with that sketch, I'm now going to use it to create a split line. Yeah. So if I just roll back, using that sketch to create a split line. Okay. So now I have defined the boundaries for our blends. And now I'm just going to go insert delete face, delete face, delete. Don't patch or fill. Okay, so I'm going to delete those four four faces. And now I'm going to create the blends. Which again, I haven't used direction two, just used one direction. Pick the two edges, um, curvature, tangent condition, and a tangent length of one. If you want to make them peakier, you can increase your um, tangent length. Okay, so there's one, and there's a second one down here. Again, exactly the same. And again, you can put end if you want more control, uh, or if something's, you know, there's a few glitches or something, you can uh, add a style spline at each end, a degree five sp style spline, you end up with six points, and you can specify curvature continuous in the sketch. Right. So now I'm going to knit that together. Um, let's see if we can thicken it. Okay, so it's thickened the to one, one millimeter. Sometimes solid works. The um, if you go tools, options, image quality, the image quality here I have it cranked up really high. When when it's only displaying a surface model, uh, sometimes it seems to ignore this, and you end up with a rather faceted, nasty looking model. So I have noticed with SolidWorks it helps if you thicken apart or make it a solid, all of a sudden it seems to respect the image quality settings again. Okay, so that is a brief tutorial on how to create a, a scoop or a peeled surface or a, a face running tangentially to another on SolidWorks. Hope that was useful. Thank you, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio.